Hello everybody, my name is Brian. I'm here with my girlfriend Maria. Hi! We are driving up the 5 North to head to my hometown of Santa Cruz. I am here to see my family. I thought it would be nice to uh, do something with my dad that my dad always did for me. When I was growing up in middle school and high school, he'd wake up before any of us, cook breakfast for me, and then cover it in tin foil so that it would still be kind of warm when I woke up. And he made the best breakfast. French toast, corn muffin pancakes, and these really delicious buttery croissants. He's had a little bit of a medical mishap lately. Nothing super major. He's, he's recovering. Uh, he doesn't know we're coming. We're going to give him a little bit of a surprise. I never make croissants, so I'm going to do it with the old man. We'll see if he's up to it. Hey guys, this is Brian. Um, I'm just calling to wish you guys happy Memorial Day weekend. Dad, why don't you know I'm thinking about you. Uh, hope you're getting better. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, and call me back if you like. Bye bye. Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. I've called my sister, she didn't pick up. I called the house, they didn't pick up. I don't want to over-dramatize things, but it would be really terrible if it turned out that the worst had happened and he wound up getting sent back to the hospital. First of all, Dad, I just want to say uh, thanks for helping me make these croissant sandwiches. Uh, why don't you run us through the ingredients here? What do we need? Okay, first of all, you got your Costco, Costco uh, croissants, uh, eggs, you can use butter or you can use olive oil for the pan. We'll slice turkey and cheese is optional. We already started the pan here, so it's kind of hot already. So we're just gonna put a little oil in there. Okay, it's going. You can get three at once if you're, you know. I haven't done that in a while, so I have to know it's sloppy. Your technique is, is sloppy. Yeah. You gotta break the yolks. You gotta break the yolks, otherwise when you bite into it, it'll it, be all goopy. Oh, you still got it. We got three slices of those. Just throw them on there. These are big. Yeah, these are big. These are bigger than that. Much We're bigger men now. Yes. And what I would do is just put this back on. Huh? To keep the heat or? Yeah, because it keeps this hot heated up. If I think of cheese, I'd probably take that off and put a slice of cheese on there and it'll melt it a little bit. Okay. And then you take that. Man, these pieces of turkey are big. They're huge. <laughs> look, at, look at how little that egg is for how big the turkey is. This is a meat lover's croissant, which we've created another Gary Forenzi breakfast meal. Piece of cake. Now it's time to what? Drive over the hill and teach eighth graders history? <laughs> That's correct, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do that now. We're gonna get in the car and drive. But you know, this meal isn't complete until we've let it sit there for 10 minutes covered in tin foil. Wait, I'm sorry, why do you have to cover it in tin foil? Well, because I get up earlier than they do, so to I keep set it up on the counter. And I'd wake up and just see that. And sometimes I wouldn't know what it was until I popped open the tin foil. So really, it was like a morning present. That's all there is to it. Woo! Well, thanks, Dad. Thanks, thanks so much. All right. uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna eat these and then leave you forever. <laughs> See ya. Okay. okay. <laughs> I know a song that will get, get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, and this is how it goes. I know a song that will get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. Get on your nerves. I know a song that will get on your nerves, and this is how it goes.